the network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation. Hello and welcome to the AV App Show. I'm your host, Philip Cordell, Director of Engineering at M3 Technology Group, but also known as your friend, Hi-Fi, the AV Professional. That's right, and uh, tonight I'm pretty excited uh, about what we're gonna be looking at. It's It's got some pretty cool future implications. Uh, and so with that, you know, we're just gonna jump right in. Uh, and so before we look at the app itself, we're going to look at a little bit of industry literature on the app. I don't know if I missed the press release on this. I'm sure there was one, uh, and I'm just not sure if, uh, if I didn't see it come out, but, but when I was looking for an app to review tonight and I came across this, I thought, you know, that's kind of a big deal that, that I hadn't yet uh, really gotten that involved with. And so with that, I'm going to show you Crestron's Pinpoint app. So first things first, let's look at a little uh, marketing jargon, shall we? The Crestron Pinpoint app claims uh, that it will help you with proximity room booking, which is cool, advanced room searching, room preview and wayfinding, user experience and automation, and a My Day dashboard. All good things. Uh, work smarter, faster, bad, faster, better, saving millions. 10 minutes equals $1.2 million. I'm not getting paid like that, uh, but I guess somebody out there is, and that's uh, that's pretty good money, you know? And so the thing about this app is that it works synergistically, as the, uh, as the literature says, uh, between Crestron Fusion and the, the app, as well as the proximity beacons that we'll take a look at as well. Uh, and the way these things work is that you place these beacons into the rooms, into the systems, and, and then using the app, you can tell which room is closest to you. If you've got an appointment in a room uh, that a beacon is in, the app can help lead you there via the wayfinding functionality. Uh, you can book that room uh, as the meeting place uh, for your, your next meeting, and it can be an impromptu meeting, so you guys just decide, hey, let's find the closest meeting room, and again, that proximity beacon will let you know which room that would be. Uh, you know, the one that, I, I don't believe it's misleading by any means, but there's not much clarification here, this user experience and automation, uh, you know, that takes additional equipment, and that's okay, uh, but you know, I don't know that's explicitly spelled out here, but that's up to us, the Crestron dealers, probably to take care of. And then a My Day dashboard, uh, basically a calendar, kind of cool. Not bad. Let's see. So these beacons, pretty neat things. You know, these little proximity detection beacons enhance the intelligence and personalization of your Crestron system by enabling your iPhone or iPad to always know what room it's in. It's becoming sentient. Uh, pinpoint beacons work with the Crestron Pinpoint app, which we'll take a look at, and the Crestron app to ensure that the controls displayed on your device are applicable to the room you're in. With Pinpoint, there's no need to select your current location from a menu. Your device always knows where it's at. And so if you're programming Crestron rooms right now, you know, you can load multiple files in there and use that same iPad for multiple systems. Uh, but that's what's kind of, you know, sounds cool about these beacons is that it, it automatically knows. You know, and it's gonna gonna tell your iPad so that when you step in, you've only got one option, and it's the right one. And so we'll take a look now at this uh, at this app itself, which again, without the full functionality of Crestron Fusion tied in here, and without independent systems that are already programmed, you know, I'm not gonna be controlling any systems from this Pinpoint app. But let's take a look, see anyway. First of all, a uh, nice looking icon there. Open that thing up. Here's what my day looks like today, Saturday, February 20th. All day, uh, be awesome. That's just a reminder I had to put in there because sometimes I wake up, you know, and, and hi, high five the AV Pro. He's just like you guys. Every day I don't wake up necessarily being awesome. And I have to set a little reminder. That's right, I'll do that today. Uh, and then of course, you know, record the AV app show. And so what we're looking at here again, is just a glorified calendar. Speaking of calendars, you know, it'll, it'll pull what, 
your calendar in and any events you've got on there. Let's take a look at Wednesday, February 10th. Had that Panasonic Lunch and Learn. Had a uh, project accounting uh, invite from, from a coworker and Sharon 112. And uh, should, should these events take place in rooms that had those proximity beacons and in rooms that were participants, then I could book uh, events, you know, and right here from the My Day interface. You know, it's kind of cool. You give it access to any of those any of those calendars that you'd like. And so again, what I, what we, not just I, what we are looking at right now is basically just a, a calendar app because we don't have any of that back-end functionality. But I wanted to focus on the design. You know, it's a nice, sleek design. Uh, it looks good. And, you know, I'm going to rank this app on the functionality we see here, but really what I'm excited about are the future implications for what this could mean for our industry. You know, this is pretty cool stuff. Uh, you know, this, these are the type of advancements that I think we've always kind of thought were, were on the horizon, but I hadn't seen any of, of uh, you know, this type of stuff making its way into enterprise systems. It's interesting when you hop on and watch the videos for the Pinpoint app, you know, you see uh, a lot of embarrassed uh, management and director, maybe in C-level types, you know, where they open the door to the wrong meeting. It's like, oh, no, the shame. You don't belong here. Wrong room. You know, and so that's kind of who they're marketing to is that end user uh, who is struggling with technology sometimes. You know, and what they are providing is this ease of use that, that we as the integrator want to provide, but which, as we all know, sometimes, uh, you know, whether it's at the customer's direction because they want an individual fader for every single mic in the room, bad idea, uh, or, you know, because it's a, a, a jumbled mess or maybe you're coming in behind somebody else. Technology's not always easy to use and it scares folks. You know, we'll just call, call it like it is. We can't all be AV pros here, folks. You know, there's only so many of us out here. Uh, and so it's interesting to see how Crestron is positioning themselves, uh, you know, how by rolling in this calendar app, you know, they really are seeking to get that much further into the daily lives of, uh, of its users. And, you know, as, as it mentioned in the, the marketing write up, it's, it's really cool the way this app works with fusion and then works, uh, with existing systems. You know, it, it doesn't mention that in order to step into a room and have a, you know, a great big, awesome, uh, interactive meeting that you're going to need a lot of gear in there, you know, and it doesn't mention that this app doesn't necessarily just right off the bat, you know, do away with everything else that you're going to need. You're going to need custom programming uh, and you're going to need installation. Uh, but I think this app does a good job of, of kind of showing what the future hopefully will look like. And that's a future that obviously Crestron wants to be a, a major player in uh, and a major part of. And so they're positioning themselves very well to do that. Um, uh, and it all started out here by getting onto my phone uh, and into my into my personal life, into my, into my contacts, and into my calendar. Uh, and you know, they asked they, they asked if they could come in when I downloaded the app, and I said yes. I just let them in. Hope I don't regret that. Crestron, don't break my heart. So there you go. The app as it stands, without any of the back end infrastructure, you know, it's a good looking app. It looks modern. It looks sleek. Uh, it, it looks like a lot of the design elements that come out of Crestron, which is to say they look very updated and fresh. Uh, and that wasn't always the case, so I'm stoked that it is. Uh, and so the app alone, I would give that, you know, uh, I would give that a solid, let's say 3.25 proximity beacons, you know, uh, because right now it's not doing a lot for me. However, when it's used synergistically, love that word, with, uh, with the other suite of Crestron products, including Fusion, including, uh, you know, everything that they can roll into it, uh, then it immediately catapults up into the, you know, four and a half, four and three quarters proximity beacons uh, range because it's pretty exciting. You know, I hope that this is kind of what the future looks like, uh, that ease of use that, that we've always really wanted to provide, but we're never able to completely provide. And I hope that this gets us one step closer to that. So... Uh, based on the promise uh, of what could be, you know, based and based on what we just saw, I'm going to go ahead and, and catapult this thing up into, into 4.75 proximity beacon territory pending
Crestron Fusion installation and, uh, and pending a proper and thorough training on how all this stuff works uh, from your registered licensed Crestron dealer. And so with that, another AV apps is in the can. And, uh, and I've, you know, I've had a great time. And I, I really appreciate you specifically joining me. You know who you are. Thank you. And uh, you can find me on Twitter at the underscore AV underscore pro. You can find me online at theavprofessional.com. Find me on my YouTube page at youtube.com backslash high fidelity, H-I-P-H-I-D-E-L-I-T-Y, where you will find all of the uh, latest, hippest, freshest AV hip hop in the world. Maybe some of the only AV hip hop in the world. Don't know if there's a reason for that. Don't care. That's what I do, man. Come check it out. And, of course, you can find this show and many other fantastic shows here on AV Nation TV. So don't you forget, if you want all the apps on the apps, come and see us, the AV App Show. We'll see you next time. The network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is AV Nation. This is AP Nation.